a British businessman who underwent a minor surgical procedure in Costa Rica in January spent nine weeks fighting for his life after a flesh-eating bug infected his genitals. Colin Graw, 47, was discharged after the surgery but within four days he was in tremendous pain as the deadly necrotizing fasciitis bacteria attacked his genitals. Surgeons were forced to remove large sections of the affected area as the dead tissue spread rapidly. Plus 3 View Gallery MGID equals I 65 A 94 A 4 E 8 46 5 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1 S slash 2022 slash 03 slash 23 slash 21 slash 5 5 7 2 4 7 3 1 0 6 4 5 6 9 3 image 822 underscore 1 6 4 8 0 7 2 1 3 8 6 607.jpg height equals 422 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 3 view gallery MGID equals ID 7 C 4 C 3 F 9 B 68 D 4 D F 9 S R C equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1 S slash 2022 slash 03 slash 23 slash 21 slash 5 5 7 2 4 7 1 1 0 6 4 5 6 9 3 image A 30 underscore 1 6 4 8 0 7 2 3 2 5 1 118.jpg height equals 845 width equals 634 alt equals Mr. Graw, pictured while in hospital in Costa Rica, spent nine weeks fighting for his life after class equals black border in share, greater than. Copy link to paste in your message. Medics struggled to identify the correct antibiotic to tackle the infection, leaving him in a critical condition. Following his marathon hospital stay, he is still being given a spectrum of antibiotics to kill off the infection. Despite being treated in a Costa Rican public hospital, Mr. Graw has been left with a bill for £80,000 for his treatment to date although this is expected to rise to £150,000. Mr. Graw's sister, Tanya Willis, 49, from Parbold, Lancashire, said her brother went to Costa Rica to follow up a business opportunity. According to Ms. Willis, doctors diagnosed Fournier's gangrene and were forced to remove layers of infected skin until they found healthy tissue. Ms. Willis said, It's been absolutely horrific for him, he is in exceptional amounts of pain, he can't sit properly he only had a 30% chance of survival because it's such a rare bacterial infection and there aren't many antibiotics that can treat these types of infections. She said it was awful being so far away from her brother when he was suffering a near-death experience. Despite being discharged from hospital, Mr. Graw has to attend hospital three times a week to keep various infections from spreading.
Ms. Willis said, they're still trying to fight off infections that are highly resistant to antibiotics. He is too ill to travel so we're not in a position to get him home. Plus 3 View Gallery MGID equals I811C 1922 CAD 0 CF 45 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2022 slash 03 slash 23 slash 21 slash 557204751064569 image A31 underscore 16480724056911 jpg height equals 845 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border im share greater than copy link to paste in your message doctors have told mr Gra that he has beaten the flesh-eating bug but without further treatment he will not be able to return home to the uk Ms. Willis said, I think he was exceptionally unlucky to contract bacteria like that. He was on the beach one day, and three days later he was in hospital fighting for his life, it happened so quickly. It was just supposed to be a day procedure, he just got an infection and it literally escalated from something minor to him being lying on his deathbed. Ms. Willis said she has launched a GoFundMe to help her brother cope with his bills. She added, I want him to be able to focus on his recovery and not have to worry about finances and how he's actually going to recover from the financial impact of this. I spoke to him yesterday and he said to me over the phone, he is absolutely shell-shocked and overwhelmed by all the messages of support he has received from all over the world. We can't help him physically but what we can do is lighten the financial burden for him and I am so grateful to all of the donations we have received from people all over. Advertisement